This year, Lent and Good Friday and Easter falls during an extraordinary time in our lives, during a pandemic. A time when we are secluded in our homes, a time when we are apart from one another, far apart. A time when we are told to cover our faces with a cloth or a mask, and a time that we are afraid to get close to one another, to get too close. We're all hiding from an invisible, breathtaking virus with no clue in sight. My heart goes out to those who have lost lives. My heart goes out to the many of those who have lost the fight from hiding from this virus. Plus, doesn't it seem like this is the longest Lent ever? I mean, being apart from one another physically, it just seems like it's just gone on. The longest wilderness journey we've had, to me that is. And it seems like this may never end, as though this darkness of Good Friday might go on forever may just seem like it's going on forever. However, I can't help but think that you and I, we might be having a better understanding now of what this Good Friday might have been for Jesus' disciples after the crucifixion, after Jesus had died, and that they were hiding in their homes or hiding some of them in the upper room. I can't help but think that we may gain a many a clear understanding of that time that we can reflect on today. Wondering what now or how long will this last or when are things going to be normal again in this darkness thinking, how long must we wait? How long is this going to take? And also, because of all of this, our Lenten wilderness journey this year, actually it's, it's, it's taken on a new meaning to me. I've learned something from it. For me, I have been more aware of my waiting on God. I've been keenly more aware of even my favorite Bible verse. My favorite Bible verse is in Psalms 27. Verses 13 through 14. That reads and says this to me. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the, leading, of the living. Wait for the Lord. Yes, let your heart take courage and wait on the Lord. You see, this Lent is a time of waiting. No doubt. But as we wait together, I encourage us to wait with great expectation, waiting and believing that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, waiting to see where God is going to move next. Waiting like the women at the tomb, <laughs> perhaps. So let's look at that story again. This had happened after the crucifixion, after Good Friday, which is in Luke 24, 1 through 9. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices that they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found that the stone had rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And while they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that, that gleamed like lightning stood before them. And in their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he has told you while he was still with you in Galilee? 
the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. <laughs> For such is a time as this, a time to remember, a time though to see with new eyes perhaps, a time to see of all that is around us, this new life. You see, we see the signs of spring all around us, signs of awakening, signs of hope, signs of resurrection. All around us, birds sing, <laughs> trees bloom, flowers unfold, sun rises and sun sets and with these beautiful colors of warmth and, and recently a bright super moon that shines above us at night. And remembering and in our waiting and in our season of Lent to remember that this is only a time, a short time of waiting for the resurrection and the life of hope will rise and God's resurrection breath will rise up again a new life a new day a new hope a new dawn will come over the horizon so I ask how are you waiting how are we waiting?